hello guys welcome back so now in this video tutorial we will add the icon and also that two button so after this sized box we will add a center widget and inside this center widget we will create a child and then we will create a loading variable so the reason we are using the loading variable so if it is true then we will show the uh, default icon okay which is in the assets folder and if it is false for example if the user upload an image from a gallery or capture it on a camera then we will show that image and also we will show that if it is a cat or dog so right here on top we will create a bool and then we will name this as loading and this will be equals to true by default it will be equals to true so if the loading variable is true then we will show a container or else we will show another container if true if true then show this and else show this so if the uh, loading variable is true then what we will do first we will create a child right here and then we will have a column and inside this column we will have a children and in the children image dot asset and right here we will just uh, fetch the default icon so it's uh, inside the assets folder so assets slash cats like this and then we will add a sized box and its height will be 50 and right here we will add a width to this container and the width will be let's just say 400 and now let's just test our application see how the ui looks so click on the start button in one or two minutes the app will be running so just wait for it so now the app is running wait for it so guys as you can see right here we miss the splash screen because i paused the video but as you can see right here this is our uh, home.dart file but we cannot see the text we need to change the color for that okay so here is the icon is showing perfectly but we need to just small up its width right here we will just add 250 now let's just auto reload it and wait for it here is the splash screen and here is the main screen but we cannot see the text we will work on that so first change the background color so for that we will just type colors dot blue accent okay and then the coding cafe colors will be let's just say colors dot white and also the cats and dog detector app color will be also color colors dot white or you can set which color you want and also get back to the splash screen and right here the cats and dogs classifier its color will be let's change this to colors dot white or let's make it yellow yellow accent okay like this and change the loader color to colors dot red accent like this so now we change all the colors okay and now if we just hold to load our app as you see right there this play screen is looking beautiful and also the home door dot page is looking beautiful and now let's move on so now our app is looking beautiful now let's add that two button one for the gallery and one for the capture so let's do that so right here we will just now just forgot that uh, else statement we will work on this in the future videos now we are uh, concentrate on the design so just leave this for now so after this uh, center tag we will uh, create a container 
and inside this container we will give it a width and then we will type media query dot dot of and then brackets dot context dot size dot width so in this way we will get all the device width so after this container we will create a child right here so this will be a, a column and then this will return a column widget so inside this we will type children and as i say it will return a widget so and in here the first child will be the gesture detector so gesture detector and then we will set our own tab and then we will return it empty because we don't need anything right now so now we are going to set a child so right here we will type child and then container and this container will be of width, width media query dot of context dot size dot width and then we will subtract 250 from it after this we will set a alignment property so this alignment property will be dot center then we will add padding so padding will be edge insects dot dot symmetric horizontal will be equals to 25 and vertical will be equals to 18 let's uh, clean up our code so it's look good and we don't get any errors so now next we will set up the decoration property and decoration will be box decoration and we will set the color to color colors dot yellow accent after the color the border radius will be border radius and uh, it will be circular and let's give it five or six and let's set up this code just cut this from there and then paste it right here because these codes are inside the container okay this main container first uh, let's set up our code so we don't get any errors as we did right here So now after this box decoration we will create a child and inside this child we will add a text property and inside this text we will type that capture a photo or image photo capture of photo so this button will be for the capture a photo from your camera okay so now let's give it a style text style whoops okay St uh, text style and then inside here we will type color and then colors dot yellow accent let's move this down below like this style will be here okay now this looks good and guys I forgot this is a this is a text this will show inside this button that we created up there so the button all over color is yellow so the text color should be white okay or else we will not see our text so now capture a photo button is created we need to just just
copy and paste it down below and add a button uh, something like select from a gallery okay we will select a, a image from a gallery using that button so that one is simple we will just copy and paste this code but first right here after this gesture detector we will add a sized box sized box and its height will be let's just say uh, 15 something like that okay 15 and then we will just copy this gesture detector and then just paste it down below right here and right here we will type select a photo so now guys let's just uh, refle uh, refresh our uh, application and see all the changes so we will just hold reload it and let's wait for it so guys I make the loading screen a little bit more I increase its time to 5 seconds and as you can see right here this is our home page okay the first one is capture a photo and then select a photo but the text is a little bit small so let's just work on our design okay so if we scroll down below <clears throat> first uh, make this to 15 okay the size box height to from 15 to 10 okay let's test it out it should be up here because it is so down okay this looks good let's change this to five and then refresh it okay and now let's just make this uh, text a little bit bigger so its color is white and so let's make it font size to 16 okay font size 16 and then just copy this from here and if we go up here where is the other button right here just copy paste this here and also if you see right here the button is not showing that well we can't see the text or the button is very bright so we will change its color to red red accent okay oops red accent okay and also right here red accent and now if we reload our app now it will looks good as you can see right here here is the splash screen and here is the buttons now it looks so much beautiful also guys as you can see there is so much space and the button is very big so let's change this horizontal from 25 to 15 and also right here let's change the horizontal to from 15 to 10 and also this one to from 15 to 10 and now if we save this and now as you can see the button is looking beautiful so guys this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video